Yo, what's good guys? SRT Dave back with another video. As you guys probably saw on my uh, Instagram posts and TikTok and stuff, my truck was down after I got it for a week. I had to bring it back to the dealer. There was a problem with the axle. The wheel wasn't rolling straight when I was driving on the road and there was like a chirping noise coming from the rear suspension. So immediately hit the dealer up and I was like, yo, something's not right. They gladly took the truck back and they fixed the problem. It was covered under the warranty. And here we are a week later. Now it's time to get some tint on the truck today. This is the tint that the truck currently has. I think this is like 20%. Would you say that's 20%? Yeah, probably. Yeah. So that's probably 20%. Like you can see in there if you get up close and you can see through it. Obviously because we don't have the window, sh the windshield done, it makes the tint look a bit lighter. Yeah, so this is what's currently on the truck. I'm going to see if uh, he can just tint over it and put 5% all around and tint over what's already done here. Because another thing I want to show you guys. Hopefully you can see that. At like the top of each window, there's like scratches on the tint. So the reason those scratches are there is because the previous owner had those rain guards on the top of the windows. And they actually tucked up in behind this trim up here and it looks like it actually scratched the tent because the gap was so little for where the window goes up i don't know about those scratches but we're going to talk to the tent guy and see if uh he can tint over it or if he recommends i take it off then i'll just have him take it off and go five percent but i don't know if i mentioned this guys but we're actually doing a five percent ceramic tint the guy gave me a pretty good deal his prices are not high at all and he has a good reputation, a couple of my friends got tinted by him. I have never went to him, but I heard good things, so we're about to see what's up. Another thing I should tell you guys, yesterday we got the car inspected. We're off the temp tag and we got the PA plate. So yeah, we got the truck inspected. We're all good to go there. Now it's time to mod this thing. So first off, tint, like I said before, going 5% all around. This shop isn't gonna do the windshield. I'll get that done somewhere else. Um, I already have an appointment for that lined up either this weekend or next weekend. We're getting that 5% today, guys. We're about to be on the way over to the tin shop right now. And my brother will be driving the SRT. He's taking the Challenger so that he can drive me back. And then I'll make sure I show you guys what this truck looks like with 5% when we go pick it up. You ready? Do you have a key for that? Yeah. Somebody tell him he needs to get a haircut. How long, how, how long has it been? Four months? Four months without a haircut and this is what he looks like. <laughs> this thing's been sitting for at least for like a week now. So we're gonna see what it sounds like on a startup. Make sure before you leave that you have to let the RPMs go down a little bit. So we just dropped the truck off. I'm back at the Challenger, as you guys can see. <laughs> what is going on? But yeah, guys, we're back in the Challenger. I did want to show you that I actually took the rear seats out. I don't know if you can see that. We got the rear seats out of the car. I also took the seat belts out, which were a real pain in the ass to get out. But yeah. We're riding around somewhat gutted besides that towel and the liners and stuff. Once I get faster, we're definitely going to take them out. But for now, this is how we're riding around in the chally. It feels weird being in this passenger seat. For real? I'm going to head back home to the house now and I'll pick up the camera again when we're on the way back to pick up the truck. I just got the text that my truck's done. It's about two and a half hours later now and we're about to head over and pick it up to see what it looks like. I'm super hyped because I've been wanting this tint ever since I got the truck for real. I was kind of tight that I couldn't do it sooner with the car being at the dealer and everything. This is as soon as I could get the tint on. So I'm super hyped to see what it looks like. A couple exterior updates on this thing that I wanted to show you guys. We ended up removing the vinyl strip that was on the taillights. I just thought it kind of looked 
cheap. And I also took off the license plate frame here. And yeah, this is what the back of the car is looking like right now. <laughs> he's driving my mom's car over to take me to get my truck because this thing's blocked in and he's lazy and doesn't feel like moving the cars. So we're taking that over to the tin shop. And I will see you guys in a second. We're back. Got the windows painted. <laughs> this thing looks crazy dark. You can't even see in. Look. It's literally reflective. Looks so good though. Looks so good. So the tint guy said he just tinted over the 20% that was already on there. He said he thought it was about 20% for the tint that the previous owner put on there. So yeah, he went ahead and tinted over that on both sides with the 5% ceramic. And then obviously with the back too, we got the same thing going on, 5% ceramic. Let me show you guys what it looks like inside. So this is what out the window looks like on the side. And what out the window looks like over there. And then obviously this is what the back looks like. It's gonna be way darker when we have the front windshield done, but can't put the windows down for three days, but he threw some tape here so I don't forget. But yeah, guys, we got the tin on the truck. We got the first mod done on the truck. Let me know down in the comments how you think it looks so far. I'm about to give the truck a nice fresh wash in the driveway. I haven't done that since I got it because of everything that's been going on. And you know when you get a new vehicle, you really want to do a deep clean yourself. Well, at least I do. I want to do a deep clean myself and see what I'm working with. So that's what we're going to do today. It's pretty nice. It's Saturday afternoon. And we're just going to really, really deep clean. It's a fly. We're just really going to deep clean the truck today. I want to see what these look like after I wash and everything because I have an appointment to get these spots from that uh, bug shield removed next Friday by the same guy who took the dent out of the side of my Challenger not that long ago. I'm just really happy with the with the tent. Can't really say too much else about it. Before I end this video off, I had to show you guys what the truck looks like all cleaned up. I couldn't help myself. This thing just looks insane right now. <laughs> That's probably going to do it for this video. We got the first mod done on the Ram. I will continue to keep you guys updated on more mods we do to this thing. A couple more updates that's going to be happening in the future. I got to order my OEM gaskets and my ARP header bolts for the long tube headers that we're going to be installing on the Challenger. I have to get around to ordering those two things, but I wanted to get this thing tinted and wanted to do a couple more things to this before I order those two parts because we're actually going to be installing the long tube headers on my friend Jack's lift. Once his car is done on there, I think he's getting like a new engine or something in his Camaro. But we're gonna be on the lift after that. He said we, that we could use it and he's gonna help me install them. So I just gotta make sure that we have the gaskets and that we have the uh, the header bolts. He said that's gonna be about a month. So until then, we're gonna see where, where we go with the Ram. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys like the limo tint, the 5% that I got on the truck. And yeah, just stay tuned for the next video. Thanks again for watching. It's SRT Dave, and I'm out.